A local school bus driver remains on the job tonight after picking up a hitchhiker while driving students to school this morning. The driver works for the Hempfield Area School District in Westmoreland County. Our Erica Stanis talked with the bus company and police about how something like this could even happen. Erica. Yeah, state police say the 20 year old man that got on the bus was homeless and apparently trying to make his way to Ohio. But the entire incident has many questioning how safe their kids really are on their way to school. They get the same kids every day, you think, for the most part. But to have someone, a total stranger picked up, whether it's a kid or an adult, very surprising. Hempfield Area School District is investigating after a hitchhiker was picked up this morning by one of its bus drivers on its route to the high school. State police say the man was homeless and hitchhiking in hopes to make his way to Columbus, Ohio. I guess it could happen if the bus driver isn't is new or isn't familiar with the route and maybe subbing for someone. But I think most bus drivers know their students. The bus driver works for First Student Transportation. The district tells KDKA the man involved told the driver he was a student. That's when they say the driver called the bus garage for approval before picking him up. We reached out to the bus company to learn more. A spokesperson told us, while it was our driver's intent to help a student that may have missed their bus, the driver did not follow our established pickup procedures. The driver will be immediately retrained on proper procedures in conjunction with our ongoing internal investigation. We ask how long the driver has been on the job, but have not heard back yet. The district says once the man was dropped off at the high school, he quickly walked off school property and disappeared. It's just surprising that that would even happen, but I don't know. Today, you never know. Now, school police here are investigating, but so far the man involved has not been identified and no charges have been filed. In the meantime, the district did put out a statement this morning to parents saying that they're working to do everything they can to make sure an incident like this never happens again to ensure the safety of all their students. Reporting live in Westmoreland County, Erica Stanish, KDK News.